So what about the end of work? I'm talking about expertise. You may be thinking, you know, no expertise left. And if, if you uh, have that concern, right, um, you are in uh, distinguished company. I don't want to say you're in good company, but you're in distinguished company, right? Here's Elon Musk. Uh, here's Jeff Hinton uh, telling everyone to get a job as a plumber. Uh, uh, and uh, these folks are very convinced we'll be running out of work soon. Um, I'll tell you two reasons why I don't think that's true. Uh, one, of course, is anyone who studies demographics knows that we're running out of workers, not running out of work, right? In the rich world, right, we are losing numerically working age adults, uh, and we have lots and lots of dependents, people who have earned a retirement and expect to be cared for. And actually, so we need to become a lot more productive. Um, let me tell you a deeper reason why the end of work scenario is kind of missing something very central. Most profound innovations change the world not by automating, but by unlocking new capabilities. Right? So what makes technologies transformative is the new capabilities that they create or that we create with them, not simply uh, making the old stuff better, cheaper, faster. And along with that new technology often comes new expertise. Um, so what makes this technology amazing, and this one kind of ridiculous, is not the amount of computation and processing power that went into it, but the imagination to think of a new way to use a new capability, to say, with this type of calculation, we can figure out the trajectory of getting a person onto another planet or onto a moon. So in thinking about how to use this opportunity well, and it is a huge opportunity and a huge risk, I would say beyond replicating human capabilities, we should be looking for moonshots to use this opportunity as best we can.